Senate don't give green light. Say federal government go employ 10,000 people inside civil defense. Court don't partially review show bail conditions. Inside Abuja, police don't line up people where they suspect say they be kidnappers. And passengers on the grumble sake of the poor state of bus stops for the nation's capital. My country people, now good evening this evening and thank you say so you join us for As It Take Happen. My name na Nna Douglas. And for the first story with my hand, Senate talks say the plan to employ 10,000 Nigerians inside the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, will go on despite the money with the ground, not today plenty. Authorities of the NSCDC for their budget defense today complain say the 2020 budget will then allocate to the core fit accommodate only 5,000 new employees as against the 10,000 where government been planned to recruit. Although Chiamo, Chiamo of the committee will be Senator Kasim Shetima can't give assurance say the National Assembly go make sure say the NSCDC go ahead with the initial plan to employ 10,000 officers sake of the Obonge and Kajad work within the play inside the country to protect people and secure government property. I'm coming is to how, how we can tinker with their budget to see that 10,000 Nigerians are employed by the agency. My position is in tandem with the positions of my colleagues in the National Assembly. These organizations are doing superbly well. The leadership of those organizations deserve commendation, not condemnation. In spite of the challenges they are putting in their base, and will do whatever it takes to support them to accomplish their modest objectives. Senator Shetima and many lawmakers waiting for the session can't join out the hill the management of NSCDC sake of their commitment and consistency to help safeguard Nigerian communities. Minister in charge of Niger Delta Affairs will be Goswil Akpabio. Don't advise federal government say make them find other means to get money do project will go bring development to the people. As a poor budget will then allocate to the ministry no go reach anywhere at all. When did they address journalists on Monday will be today after the defense of the 23 billion Naira budget they allocate to the ministry, Akwabio talks say the request by in fellow senators to increase the number of projects for Niger Delta is as it be the thing they laughable because according by him, money no day to do these projects. He can't tell the lawmakers, say make them beg the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, say make she increase the budget of Niger Delta Ministry we get many abandoned projects and projects where they go on now. I think that the distinguished senators should collectively make an appeal to the Minister of uh, Finance, Budget and National Planning uh, to improve upon uh, the envelope and to expand it a little so it can capture and uh, at least substantially most of the yearnings and aspirations of the good people of Niger Delta and uh, taking cognizance of already outstanding uh, uh, projects that were conceptualized uh, since 2016, 2015, 2017, 2018, which are yet to be paid for. When in the Yanni own, Minister of State on top Niger Delta, Tayo Alaso Adura, talks to the request by senators say make them add more projects on top of the small money for the Niger Delta budget. No, they possible because the budget shows say then they use 60% of the current budget for work where they go on now and the remaining 40% now for new projects. Based on need, based on good spread and so on and so forth, th those projects that we have allocated money, and basing it on 60%, like uh, the... 40% for the project. No, 60% or, you know, rollover, and roll then 40% over. for new uh, demands uh, that our people have asked for. The Senate Committee on Top Niger Delta can they pour out their frustration sake of the number of projects where they never complete for the region. But as it be, they don't shift the budget defense till next week, Monday. Still on still inside the Senate, minority leader of the Senate, Enyin Naya Abaribe, on the squeeze face, can't describe the impeachment of Simon Achuba as Deputy Governor of Kogi State as illegal, say so no follow law. Senator Abaribe raised the alarm on top one talk paper when he issued on Monday inside Abuja 
where he talks, say, the impeachment day against the spirit of democracy. The Abia South lawmaker can't use the opportunity, report the matter give President Muhammadu Buhari, say, make he rise above party and intervene for the matter to make sure, say, then protect the spirit and letter of the constitution. If the authorities of, that is, if the authorities inside Kogi State fail to do what they're supposed to do, he come also advise the Chief Just, Justice of the state, say, make he borrow example from the Imo State experience and avoid any invitation to swear in new deputy governor, no matter whichever way. Abari no stop there, and so he can condemn Kogi Assembly, sake of say, then go ahead to remove the Kogi deputy governor, even when one panel will be say, now the state chief judge set up to investigate him, bring report back, say, Achuba, no day guilty at all. Meanwhile, still on Kogi political Bege, then don't swear in Mr. Edward Onoja as the new deputy governor of Kogi State. The swearing in ceremony happened today, will be Monday, inside Government House, Lokoja, will be the state capital. Onoja will be before before Chief of Staff to Governor Yaya Bello, then inaugurate him shortly after he appeared before members of the Kogi State House of Assembly. Earlier today, Naso the lawmakers screened the new deputy governor, will later tell him, say, make a bow and go. We give him access for the inauguration to replace the former deputy governor of the state, Mr. Simon Achuba. But still on the matter, the chief, the chief judge of the state, Justice Nasir Rajana, come administer the oath of office to Mr. Onoja, where we say in wife, follow escort him, come witness the ceremony. People will show face for the swearing-in ceremony, now Governor Bello, some members of the State House of Assembly, and top government officials inside the state. Still on still, now politics we see today, Governor of Bayesa State, will be Syriake Dixon, don't beat hand for in chest, talk say, he get confidence, say, in party, will be People's Democratic Party, PDP, go win the governorship election, will go happen inside the state next month. Governor Dixon, will be in the answer question from journalist for Abuja, talk say, by Elsa as it be now, now the most peaceful state for Nigeria. Just as he had say, in government or in administration, go work with relevant st stakeholders to make sure, say, INEC organized peaceful, free, fair and cadet election on November 16. He can't use the opportunity they beg the, to the, uh, they, they beg the Independent National Electoral Commission, will be INEC and politicians, say make them play according to the rules. Back home to all politicians and parties, to all institutions of government, particularly the INEC and the security agencies, is that all hands must literally be on deck. We have had very unfortunate instances where in elections you see unnecessary violence and carnage and brigandage, maiming and displacement of people in Bayelsa. You have IDPs. You guys don't know about that or you don't talk much about it. There are people, innocent, peaceful women and children and people who were chased away by militia bodies supported by some security agencies and some political actors who claim to have federal support and cover, who know they cannot win any election if they were to rely on votes of people. And that is the situation in some communities, and those concerns have always been raised and will continue to be raised. So we call for free, fair, credible, and above all else, peaceful, governorship elections. And as it take happen, one federal high court inside Abuja don't partially cross-check the conditions of bail where they been grant or more yele showery will be the organizer of hashtag revolution now movement. The court earlier today grant 100 million naira bail to showery with two shorties who must live inside Abuja can get land within the federal capital territory. The court talks say the shorties must keep the original paper of the land with the court registry. The judge can order say one of the shorties must deposit 50 million naira with the court pending how the case go take waka. While them forbid show where say he no go travel outside Abuja, the judge orders order him say make it keep an in international passport with the court. But inside the court today will be Monday, Ijoma Ujuku will be the trial judge set aside the former order. We talk say make sure where shorty 
uh, make sure we shorty deposit 50 million, million naira. Instead, she talks, say, make the shorty deposit 30 million naira. She also reduced the bail sum of Olawale Bakare, will be sure we school defendant to 30 million naira instead of the initial 50 million naira. But she refused to change every other condition for the bail. And for the next story, the National Biotechnology Development Agency talks say the use of genetic, genetically modified organisms, where everybody know as GMO, now better thing to make sure say food they jabrata for the country, we Oyibo they call food security. On top one Kajad interview with our correspondent Solomon Ndahi, Deputy Director inside the organization, Rose Gidado, talks say the use of GMO don't prove today very effective for countries where they don't develop, come open eyes. She further adds, say, the them say them say what they work about for town, say GMO food no good for body, it still not be true. Say now people will not know what in the, the waiting day, now then they run their mouth. Technology day very important. It day very, very good for food security. Because now the technology where we they take, you know, do make crops better, you know, make them they get uh, nutrients, you know, some some vitamins, some minerals, put them inside, and then not just that one. Now in they take make make farmer, hmm? make farmer harvest very very high yield for him farm. Because now that technology where you go carry use, you know, put some things inside the seeds where farmer they use plants. So that every seed where farmer plants, it go germinate. And when the thing germinates, not just germinate, but it go germinate well, well, you know, plenty. Not be the one way farmer they, you know, after harvest, farmer they keep them. Keep them for your house. Because that way you they keep for your house, no good do. And for the next story, passengers and people with they drive motor for FCT, don't they worry sick of waiting they describe as poor state of bus stops and terminals for the state capital. These people will narrate their frustration, talk say, then they find them difficult to move from one location to another as then they use the bus stops. They can't they blame the FCT administration, sick of say they no provide enough standard bus stops and terminals will fit modern capital city as Abuja. Our Tory person will be John Emmanuel go around the city of Abuja to find out how people they react on top of this one. Bus stops, now areas where they design keep for road where passengers please still wait for vehicle or drop from vehicle. Modern bus stops these days not only they serve as a place where passengers fit wait for motor alone, but also they serve as a place where passengers fit come take shelter. This one means, say, in case rain they fall or sun they shine too much, people free enter the bus stop go hide from the rain or sun. But the question where they ground up is, say, Abuja will be the model capital city of Nigeria. Get correct bus stops where people feed go hide to take shelter. Doesn't protect people from the rain. Why I say it doesn't protect? It's supposed to have the wheat supposed to be up to six to seven. And the length is supposed to be up to 10 or 11. But they doesn't make it there. And inside it, they're supposed to put a kind of city. The structure of it is not too good. So that is it. So they need to put right good structure for people in case of rain and sun. If they are raining season, they are nowhere to run to. And the way Abuja building is, everybody is on your own. Anyhow, anyhow, there is rain or there is rain any time, any day. Once you're outside, the rain will surely beat you because you don't have, you have no place to run to. We don't have uh, 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 enough uh, this thing, um, what is it called, bus stops. Because if you look at the, uh, the other one now, <laughs> you can't hide yourself there now. Apart from say the bus stops with the Abuja no make sense, the ones where even the ground self just resemble Babambola house. Send it to places it's supposed because it's not enough. Increase our bus stop. I think make it make it look more dull. What we are seeing here is is out of out of stock. Please, government should try and uh, provide a, a bus stop for us. A better bus stop, not 
like all these ones that are here uh, like this. For many years now, the Federal Capital Territory Administration don't they make plans to provide more than bus stops and terminals for inside the city of Abuja. But waiting the delay that plans, now be waiting Abuja people never still know. And waiting everybody they talk now be say, make them try provide better, better bus stops and terminals if they want Abuja to bam like other big cities of the world. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And inside the world of crime, River State Police Command talks say then they work hard to make sure say they release two of their men, plus including one boat operator, where kidnappers seized more than two weeks now. The three people where they kidnap been they do part rule for Ungo River for Andon, the local government area, when people where they no fit recognize kidnap them for the seventh of this month of October. Wazobia Max TV correspondent Emmanuel Onwoka they follow the matter and we will bring the report for our next bulletin tomorrow. And still on top crime, police don't line up 81 people where they suspect say they be kidnappers, arm robbers, and Yahoo boys where they grab inside Taraba, Kaduna, and other parts of the country. Among the suspects, now one gang will be kidnapped one Sokoto lawmaker, and another group where they terrorize people for Abuja Kaduna Highway. Then recovered a sum of 10.1 million naira from the gang members. When they parade the suspects inside Abuja on Monday, police talk talk person will be Frank Mba talk say the kidnap gang will caput four policemen. Then also arrest them, can recover police gun from them. My people wanna still they watch the news as it take happen. Will they come back with business news? <music> Inside business, Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, AMCON, don't approach the, ju the, the judicial part of government to assist them gain access to bank details of people where they owe them. Just as AMCON Amendment Act 2019 will President Muhammadu Buhari sign, sign to law, don't give them the power to do so. On top one statement, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of AMCON, Ahmed Kuru, talks if they work with government agencies to recover the over 5.4 trillion outstand Naira outstanding debt with they for the hand of few Nigerians. The AMCON chief executive been lead one delegation of AMCON officials for one strategic visit to Court of Appeal where they meet with the president of, of the of Court of Appeal will be Justice Zainab Bukachua and other justices of the court. He tell the justices say, I'm Congo more than ever before need the support of the judiciary, especially the Federal High Court, will be Amcon's court of first instance, and most important part, the court of appeal, if the corporation stand a chance to recover more than the 5.4 trillion naira way than they owe them. My people remain sports news with the show back. <laughs> On top sports today, Sabi Boy will be the Nigerian forward. Victor Simen don't attract the eyes of two English clubs, Premier League clubs, Manchester United and Newcastle United. The report come days after they linked the 20-year-old with move to Barcelona. Report talks say management don't give Newcastle coach Steve Bruce enough money to buy players for the next transfer window. Since he joined Lee from Sporting Charleroi for 12 million euros for August this year, Osimen don't they hot, don't they, don't they for hot form where he don't score eight goals and provide two assists for 12 appearances for Lee. No do, no do. He never take with the striker win the Ligon Player of the Month award for September. On Thursday, where he beat Islam Slimani of Monaco and Nantes defender will be Nicolas Paloy. My people now saw the news take happen, but before I go, make a sharply summer on our waiting form our major tour. <music> Senate don't give green lights to say federal government go employ 10,000 people inside civil defense. Court don't partially review show bill conditions. Inside Abuja, police don't line up people where they suspect say they be kidnappers. And passengers on the squeeze face, they grumble sick of the poor state of bus stops for the nation's capital. 
Now so it take happen today on Top of Zobia Max TV. Until we come again tomorrow for another one. Thank you so you join us. My name is Nana Douglas.